BVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff tells us hundreds more of Alabamians have been trained and could be deployed wherever Hurricane Florence makes landfall. Whenever and wherever Hurricane Florence makes landfall, the Red Cross knows it's catastrophic. Annette Rowland is the regional communications director. The Carolinas haven't seen anything like this for decades. We'll know more once the storm does make landfall, but we are prepared and we're on standby mode, but we're ready to go. They will fill these emergency response vehicles with food, water, and other needed supplies. 3,500 people trained and ready to leave Alabama. Longtime volunteer Rebecca Cohn will arrive in North Carolina by tonight. Florence is definitely giving us a run for our money. Either you love it or you don't, but it's my way of giving back. Volunteers like Rebecca from Alabama come equipped with their training, a special vest, and an overnight bag that may have to last them for as long as two weeks. The Red Cross is urging Alabamians to give blood and what's the one thing that people may not think of that's really needed? Bleach. Donations in many forms needed before, during, and after the storm. In Birmingham, Jeff Elias off WVTM 13. And the Red Cross asks everyone to bring their donations to designated drop off centers only. To make a $10 donation to the Red Cross, you can text the word Florence to 90999.